good morning. And welcome to St. Monica on this, the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Restrooms are available, but only one person at a time. And collection baskets are now located in the main vestibule, plus in the north and the south vestibules for your convenience. And could you please rise for the procession? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Happy New Year. I hope it is, and it is for all of us, a truly happy and joyful New Year. Of course, it will be, having started it out here in the house of God, placing our confidence and trust, not just in Jesus, but in his mother and our mother too, on this great and wonderful solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Let us prepare ourselves now to celebrate these sacred mysteries by first calling to mind our faults, our failings. Let us turn them over now to Jesus, trusting in his mercy and his love. Lord Jesus, the Almighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, 
grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth. Among all nations, your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. May God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us and may all of the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. When the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. One year ago, this very day, we were wishing each other Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Has it been a happy year, 2020? 
were all of your hopes and dreams fulfilled? For me, a year ago is rather a blur, considering that it was this very day that I was making the final preparations for my mother's funeral that we offered on January 2nd. Happy New Year. Somebody asked me in February about uh, this coronavirus and whether I had any concern. I said, yeah, you know, it's just like, they always hype it up in the media. You know, give it another month or two. It'll be old news. How wrong I was. How wrong all of us seem to be. Happy New Year. The coronavirus pandemic and all its impact. Have you lost a job maybe because of it? Happy New Year. A loved one? Happy New Year. We could go on and on and reflect on 2020, and we do time to time, and really for the past month or so, everybody was saying, well, thanks be to God when this year is over. Well, I think that's where we need to stop and consider that everything that took place in 2020 was either elected or allowed by God. For reasons, more often than not, only known to God and also known to our Blessed Mother. For God holds no secrets from her, not a single one. Now, we might ask, well, why? Why this? Why that? Why this? Then so forth and so on. It's amazing how we only ask that question when something awful is happening. Why? Like little spoiled children do. Rather than when something wonderful is happening. Why? Why this? Why me? To have a child born or a grandchild born in 2020, 2020 will not be awful to him or her, the year of their birth. Why has God so blessed the world with the gift of life? Or maybe you've got a great job in 2020 this year, something new and exciting engaging. Well, why you? How are you so fortunate? Maybe you got engaged or married this year like my niece in June. She didn't get the reception of her dreams, but she got the sacrament of God to share life in Christ with her new husband. Of course, even my other niece, who's pregnant, now expecting a child in May, super excited. It's important to acknowledge and give thanks to God for the wonderful things that took place in 2020. Otherwise, 2021 has the potential of being worse than 2020, if that's possible. And it is possible, and it will be, it will be worse if we attempt 2021 without Jesus. If we attempt 2021 with merely a token nod to our belief in God and the incarnation of Christ, it will be worse. Maybe not globally, praise, let's ask God not globally, but personally, it will be. Because Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is inherently flawed, although it's ingrained in us. Yes, life for sure, because God so wills it and wants it for us, life in its abundance. God wants more life for us than we can possibly want for ourselves. For from whom does God offer us life? Yes, through the person of Jesus Christ, but let's go a little further, uh, through the Blessed Mother, the Virgin Mary. Remember, God became incarnate through her. And all grace from God, which is life, comes through her. And she's not just the mother, the holy mother of God. She is our holy mother too. And she wants to impart so much of God's life into us in 2021 to make 2020 pale by comparison. But in 2020, all that grace of life offered to us, did we avail ourselves of it? Did we say, well, I'm stuck at home, so I guess I'll pick up the Bible and start studying Scripture a little bit? Or, hey, I've got so much extra free time on my hands now, maybe I'll pick up the devotion of the Holy Rosary or another devotion. 
Or maybe I'll seek this opportunity to consecrate my life to God through our Blessed Mother has been advocated for saints throughout the centuries. Or did we <clears throat> let all those wonderful opportunities of life pass us by because we're too consumed over the pandemic and its consequences? If that happened, then the enemy did get the upper hand. But if we said, well, no, actually, um, yeah, I, I really have made an effort this year by God's grace to draw closer to God. Great. Keep building on that. But don't build on it alone, but do it with our Blessed Mother to receive God's life through her. She so wants to impart it to us, so ready to impart it to us. But we have but to turn to her, and not just once on an occasion, on a solemnity, but every day through the whole of this new year to draw closer to Christ through Mary. Because then what we find is liberty. Our life blooms into a liberty of freedom, that we can enjoy a freedom that no country, no nation can truly offer, a freedom from sin, the real threat to humanity, the real pandemic that's getting worse, not better. But we can be free. We can be vaccinated against sin, receiving the vaccine of Jesus through Mary. So we can be, what, happy for the rest of our lives. Some of you maybe remember a pastor here of many years ago, uh, Father Jim Jandro, and he is famous for having said that happiness is something that exists between your ears and not typically for very long. I do think that's inherently flawed in the Constitution, the pursuit of happiness. That's not really what God has in mind for us in this life. God wants us to be healthy, the pursuit of healthiness. But healthiness is not having a uh, balanced portfolio that's done incredibly well this past year. Healthiness is not having merely been uh, free of contracting the coronavirus and suffering the consequences of COVID-19. Healthiness is not just having, you know, peace in the family and good grades and still a job. Those are all great things, but all of that too will pass. True healthiness is holiness. It's all about holiness. That's what the whole purpose of this life is, is the pursuit of holiness. Are we going to do that here in 2021? It's day one. If you make any resolutions at all, and I recommend you don't make but this one, it's this one, the pursuit of holiness. Just write that down somewhere. Have it where you see it every day in your home. That 2021 is going to be the pursuit of holiness. But like so many resolutions, if you attempt to do them on your own, I give you about three weeks, and then you're going to crash. You're going to be binging on Doritos and sleeping on the couch and totally giving up. Do it with others who are also pursuing holiness. Pursue holiness with Mary every day, mother of God and our mother too. And when you get frustrated, turn to her. Mother, I'm frustrated, help me. When you're tired, turn to her. Mother, I'm tired, help me. When you're bored, mother, I'm bored, help me. Although I caution you against telling our Blessed Mother you're ever bored in your spiritual life, you get the same reaction as if you tell your mom or dad that you're bored. Oh, they'll find something for you. But also to know it's not just you and our Blessed Mother and Jesus. For wherever you find the two of them, there's someone else who doesn't speak but always acts, and that's Joseph, St. Joseph always present, always ready. And this is the year of St. Joseph, so solicit his aid too. You might even want to consider consecrating your life, your, your family, your vocation to St. Joseph this year so that he can truly act in your regard in the pursuit of holiness. But remember it in that order. To have life, we must have grace, the grace of God. So yes, Preserve in the state of grace always. 
with the aid and intercession of our Blessed Mother and St. Joseph and all the angels and saints of God. And to have freedom, remember, it's freedom from sin. Every, all, any and all other true freedoms are predicated on the freedom from sin. Without freedom from sin, there is no freedom. But all for this one exclusive end, the pursuit of holiness. For when you have holiness, you may have sorrow, you may have trials, you may be want for happiness, but you will have joy. You will have the joy that God and God alone can give. And what God wants and wills to give to us. And God does offer to us in and through Jesus, Son of God, Son of Mary. And thanks be to God that he is also our brother too. And as much, making Mary, the Holy Mother of God, our mother and helper too. Let us now rise and profess the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As sons and daughters of God Most High, brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ, let us now present our needs to the throne of God through the aid and intercession of our Holy Mother Mary. For the church that she might grow in holiness, imitating Mary's purity, faith, and humility, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and the world, that this new year be filled with peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families who struggle to make ends meet, that they receive the grace they need, and that we may go in haste to support them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For mothers throughout the world, that they will be strengthened by the Blessed Mother's life of willingness to heed God's will, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For the sick and suffering, that God will sustain their spirits, relieve their suffering, and give them hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For all the faithful departed, May they be welcomed into eternal glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, Heavenly Father, who willed that the simple maiden of Nazareth bear your only begotten Son, hear and answer all our needs through her intercession and through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant it to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, your duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highs. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, to graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and in giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial and saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with her blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Monica, and with all the saints, on whose cause and intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. of God, the holy temple of the world, the holy Mary, holy mother of God, O radiant star of heaven, illumining the night, reflection of the sun, our source of life and light. O holy dwelling place of God, O holy temple of the world, O holy Mary, holy mother, of God. O oh, blessed beyond all others of every land and race, possessing in your soul the fullness of God's grace. Holy dwelling place of God, O holy temple of the world, O holy Mary, holy mother of God. From heaven the angel Gabriel announced the ancient plan, and humbly you accepted to bear the God-made man. O holy dwelling place of God, O holy temple of the world, O holy Mary, holy mother of God, with joy beyond all measure, you cared for God's own Son and pondered in your heart the new age now begun. O holy dwelling place of God, O holy temple of the world, O Holy Mary, Holy Mother of God. Exquisite was your sorrow, unequaled was the loss. You suffered when your son was raised upon the cross. O holy dwelling place of God, O holy temple of the world, O holy Mary, holy 
Holy Mother of God, all praise and adoration we sing now to your Son, who reigns in highest heaven and has the victory won. O holy dwelling place of God, O holy temple of the world, O holy Mary, holy mother of God.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord, grant we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son, and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A thought occurred to me that uh, perhaps we need to start a new tradition. Start right here at St. Monica. Instead of wishing people a happy new year, to wish them a holy new year. Holy New Year. And they'll, they'll be caught a little bit initially off guard. And they'll go, oh, holy what? It's me. I want you to have better than a happy New Year. I want you to have truly a holy New Year. So, holy New Year. Thank you. From your lips to God's ears. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh. 